Welcome to Indie Quest, everyone. I'm going to be playing Tainted Olive, Chapter 1, Shadow of a Choice. It is by Black Olive uh, Games, and um, uh, they've made the game uh, The Grey Rainbow. If you haven't played that, I suggest checking that out. And let's get started with this. They plan to make uh, six chapters of this. It's going to be a point-and-click escape game, so this is the first one. What am I doing? Living the shadow of a life. Searching my mind for answers that don't exist. I am a ghost that should have been left in the past. I should have died that day. Dark thoughts. The only kind I seem to know these days. Hmm. Are those? Dice. A way to pass some time. To forget even for a moment. Besides, easy money. Mind if I join? I don't lose it, Dice. You lost. Darn. Gotta think fast. Really fast. I must have outrun them by now. But I'm trembling with exhaustion. It seems the wine is taking its toll. What the? Ooh. That was too close. Crazy night. More words. So basically, the Thieves Guild is after him because that was the... That was one of the people he lost to. The dawn offers gold for simple task. Inquire at the Basilica. Turn paper for map. Um, they continue to go with the um, hand-drawn uh, drawings of, um, like they did in, uh, what do you call it, um, the Gray Rainbow. But it seems to be a lot cleaner this time. This might be by intent. I'm not exactly sure, but either way, The Grey Rainbow is still a great game, and so is this one. And I love the story of it. I don't know everything that's um, going to happen, but the parts that have been revealed are pretty interesting to me. So basically... Um, He's going to be sending me on a mission to gather olives that are used to create magic, I believe. I gotta say, I love the artwork of this place, especially the lighting right there. Um, okay. Zillian came to the gate, hoping to leave, leave town. An hour later, he still stood there, cold sweat trickling down his neck. I cannot move. What is it that shackles me here? By chains no man can see. What secret yet unspoken? The long hours stretched, and in time, answers came, floating on memories. Memories never truly forgotten, merely buried in wine or brandy. Memories of cloak, peach, and poets. Hmm. It's interesting. Cloak, peach, and poets. Weak and unable to face his mistakes, Sylvian turned back towards the city. Coward. Miserable excuse for a human, walking towards certain death. Find a way, coward. Dying is easy. Find a way, a weapon, a map, and what belongs to you. Find those and maybe you will not share the same fate. Maybe you will let yourself leave. Maybe. So now I have to gather three things. A weapon, uh, his gambling stuff, and... I believe a map. <laughs> ah, rat. <laughs> no, what possible insane reason would I have to pick up rats for from the street? Mm, darn it, I was hoping that I could get a description off that. I love all the little details they put in, like, uh, you can click on stuff that will say, A strong fire, but not the blazing kind you would usually expect in a smithing. <laughs> that guy should get that nose taken care of. Uh, he's going to want me to find his ancient hammer that's been in his uh, uh, family for generations, apparently. Why, hello there, you lady. I love your green uh, eyes and white hair. Greetings, fair maiden. Lady Luna has surely blessed me with the great luck to find myself in the presence of your radiant person. There should be just, like, a little giggle. 
Nonsense, dear lady. If anyone should apologize, it is I for being too forward. But I blame not myself, rather your dazzling beauty. I should really write this stuff down. <laughs> Might come in handy at some point. Hmm. No, not tonight, is it? Huh, interesting. Okay, so this was a more interesting thing. There's a picture here that you have to arrange. Well, first you gotta get it in the right order. Uh, that's not it. Ooh, got one. And once you get it into the right order, you have to uh, arrange it. Even though that uh, the picture is probably one of the uh, least, uh, like, you can see, like, the pencil markings and stuff. I st it's actually one of my favorite things about this game. One of the favorite things in the game. Mm, nope, that's not it. I hate puzzles like this because they always make me feel stupid. Okay, that should be it. Alright. Oh, I still gotta... Whoops. Another cool thing about the game is that I haven't found any bugs in it. I actually helped beta test this game. Uh... To serve as guide throughout the night. Okay, every time I fix a line the correct way, a line gets revealed. Oh, that is creepy. I can hear like the... That gets revealed every, or I hear every time I reveal a line. Ah, oh, I like the bird. Ah, <laughs> oh, that's creepy. Let's see. To shine a path. Wait. Let's see. To serve to run. Let's see if this works. Ah! To shine your path, I give my light. To serve as guide throughout the night. Um. I could have sworn that this went last. Play she's trickster. Uh. Eh, darn it, I'm gonna be stuck here forever. Because I can't remember. I wouldn't mind working through this, but I, um, I'm trying to keep this under 10 minutes. To you shine your path, I give my... Yes! The twin stones are crumbling. I place you trickster in this the fight. The twins of stone are oh. crumbling. Sure, I take place my job. You trickster in this fight to take up arms against the blight. To shine your path, I give my light. To serve as guide throughout the night. You stand there dumbfounded. The words from the box echo in your mind. And it is a feeling as if a trap has just sprung around you. Not sure how to proceed, you mutely show the solution to Keisha. Uh, that gets a rebounce. She seems confused. I... Oh. I... You solved it! But those words, they never appear to me even though I assembled the picture. This has prophecy written all over it, but I don't want any dealings with any gods today. You can have the box back, and all the glory that comes with it. I'm... I, I'm sorry, Sylvian. But this is incredible! It seems you were meant to solve this puzzle! That is why I couldn't. I just... I was just a... The... Condi? Uh, okay. And she's going to give me her necklace. Or this little gem here. And when you click on it, it shows you things that you can click on screen. 
Okay, now that the uh, long part is over, it usually wouldn't have taken me that long. It didn't the first time, I'm pretty sure, but... Oh, here's the uh, jerk. Uh, I, long story short, he wants me to get him a lobster and he'll give me back my stuff. Jeez, this guy doesn't look happy. <laughs> yeah, rat. A barrel, probably filled with sweet, sweet wine. Ooh, what's this, a horn? Okay. Uh, this guy is... I, I, I don't really know what to say about him. Uh, basically, you have to talk to him until he tells you to get rats. spoke to me of a rat man who makes maps. Okay, I guess that's it. This guy's a little bit nuts. Okay, so... I need to find some rats. Ugh, disgusting. <laughs> when he means rat man, he really means a rat man. I mean, that, you don't get much more ratty than that. Are you the one they call rat man? <laughs> That'd be funny if the guy just looks up like, Yeah, what do you think? I'm in need of maps and information. An old fisherman sent me. So he'll reveal where the um, hammer is. Okay. I would like a map. So I get to. Uh, I have to play a little game with him. Which I will lose the first time. I seriously think he's cheating on this. Basically, you put. For this game, you both put up um, one of your hands with a certain number of fingers. And then um, you have to choose a number, and if the number adds up to what you picked, then uh, you win. But seriously, how in the world would he know? Oh. Your, your hand showed one, as mine four did. The sum is five, I win the bid. The deed is done, the game is won, you have lost. Tis time to run. Prices bade and debt so made will soon be laid and fully paid. Well, he's a poet. You have lost, you cannot win, and yet, the ritual is not complete. It's, uh, it's not yet complete. Heed me, leave now, and do not come back. Is the map so important? You might suffer bad dreams from now on, and attract some unwanted attention, but nothing else. Your life will be spared. And the crystal starts glowing. First time I, uh, like, the next time I played through this, I was unaware that you were supposed to click the crystal. I thought that I'd be able to get it right. So that's what the Rat Man's going to pick. So, um, I will pick four. And I will pick three. Your hand showed three, as mine one did. Some as four, you win the bid. Look would seem to favor a hero. Your score is one, but mine is zero. <laughs> the entire time he's rhyming. I know it sounds like I'm making fun of the game, but I, 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 uh, I've played it before and I really do like it. But really, you can find comedy in just about anything. But it is pretty clever. I think I actually should try this game one of these days. Um, alright, so if he's putting up one, i put up four. There we go. Um, I'll put up, I'll pick three. There we go. Ratman stares at you for quite some time. That was unexpected. What did you do? He frowns. How did you cheat? That may have happened. And you're right about me. I learned from my mistakes. Therefore, do not expect your luck to strike twice. Do not expect it to be so easy next time. The air darkens around him ever so slightly. Even your gem seems to be radiating, radiating a little less light than before. 
This is actually a ceremony, and if my guy loses, then something bad would happen to him. I would have to, basically, my life would be taken from me if I lost. Though this time, for some reason, um, he's able to interfere with it, and now I'm not sure if he's going to take... Well, I know he's going to pick one, because if he picked four, that would be over, too. So, if that is the case, then I will pick three and two. Your hand showed two as mine did one. It's not always that simple, though. Like, right now, I have no idea. So, why don't we try a little risk? It seems we have both failed. The round restarts. For now, no, uh, for now, unplayed. Well, that one didn't rhyme, I don't think. Okay, so he picks one. Well, one good thing about this game is that you learn some math. Haha. -ha. Alright. I have no idea this time. Let's take a gamble. Haha. -ha. The deal is done, the course is run. Expected by none, the hero has won. Prices paid and debts so made will soon be laid and fully paid. I have to say, the guy, uh, the guys who wrote this are very good poets. Very good at rhyming and uh, the way of putting things. Ratman seems to enter a dark mood, darker than usual. He is deathly still and silent, and as you make reach for the map, the only movement are his unreadable eyes following you intently. Take your hard-won map. Ooh, man, that's some scary-looking eyes. Oh, I should have read that. Yeah, he is a very... Yeah, he is a very scary-looking guy. Hey, I'd like to take those skulls. Ooh. The skulls form a circle, giving the illusion of whispering to each other. Ha! Huh. Someone around here clearly has a sense of humor. <laughs> I'd say the people of Black Olive do, then. Um, oh yeah. Apparently that's the guy who stole it. A dead body. Is it the thief you are looking for? And a more interesting question, what is he doing at the bottom of a well and who put him there? He probably thought, oh, I could probably hide this well. Ah! I forgot there hasn't been water in it for years. Uh, he basically gave me um, the sword that his son had, which is a very, very good sword. The sword gleams a silky, silvery light. It feels sharp and deadly, but the handle is terribly old and made of wood. You wonder how long it will last. Well, why would the guy give it to me, then? It's possible you can get it fixed in the next game if it breaks. Oh, I forgot. Um, There we go. The reason why I'm gathering rats now, and the reason why I'm able to gather rats, is because um, um, I he didn't want to touch them before, because rats are disgusting creatures, apparently. You have now grown rather attached to them. Still, it would be a good idea to visit a healer after this is done, because they were filthy. Um... Darn it, I forget which one. Oh, I have brought you your rats. He immediately breaks out of his stupor, his eyes gleaming with unnatural light. An illusion, to be sure. My rats! Lovely rats! Give them! You push the rats onto him, grateful to, be, to finally be rid of the bloody beast. Now, my net, if you please. Without giving you a second glance, he snatches the rats and immediately bashes their heads in on the wooden floorboards. What? He then proceeds to gaze at their mutilated bodies for some time before slashing them somewhere beside him. Stashing them somewhere. What the world? <laughs> I must have missed that the first time. I cannot take much more of this. Since he's busy with the rats, I'll just uh, use the chance to take his net. I'd say it was more than a fair trade. 
You take the net without being noticed, so absorbed into his wrath he becomes oblivious to everything around him. Even more so than during his discussions with the sea. As far as you can tell, he is now playing with their corpses, one in each hand. That's it, I've reached my limit! Yay, the best fish catcher you've ever made. The only fish catcher you've ever made. And now I can... I'm not sure what this is here. It looks like an acorn floating in the water, but... I got my lobster. On second thought, it might not have been a good idea to put the lobster in with your pockets. How'd you manage to do that, anyways? <laughs> yeah, I have to admit, they, uh, the people at Black Off do have a good sense of humor. The game seems rather short compared to, uh... Oh, wait. Darn it. Wrong person. Uh, short compared to, uh, The Grey Rainbow. But this could just be me. It actually took me a, at least, like, 30 minutes to get through it the first time, because I wasn't sure what in the world I was doing. I thought we agreed not to bother me until you can get that lobster. Innkeeper, I've returned with your lobster. You take it out of your bag and show it to him. In hindsight, it was actually pretty stupid to put the lobster in the bag of the other items. So alive, it could have destroyed the more delicate ones. Erm, what? His eyes... He eyes you suspiciously. Should I now say good job? Here's your gear back? He looks towards the door, then you. I just didn't expect you back so soon. Me neither, but it was a stroke of luck. There was a lobster ready for the taking. In the sea, near the docks. Anyway, here. You casually threw it on the table. Basically, I get my stuff back, which is my dice and a lock-picking kit, which I never get to use. At least I don't think I get to use them. Let me go back to the rat man. It's a scary door. Okay, I don't get to use them. Am I ready? Am I afraid? What if I won't let myself leave? Courage. Steal yourself. Breathe deep. Take that first step. And I am outside. A great weight falls and I continue on. My mind, suddenly free of worry, turns to the odd occurrences of today. The earthquake, the song, the ritual, and this strange gem. Shining its light through it all. Pretty soon, even those thoughts are behind me. My path is finally clear, somewhat. A deadly forest ahead, but a dangerous city behind. And me in the center, balancing the scales of shadow and choice. The wind stirns long forgotten feelings, adventure. Anticipation. What a mate awaits me at the end of the, this road? Gold? Redemption? Reprive or death? One thing is certain, I welcome any of those, as long as the play is fair, and I am allowed to cheat. <laughs> Maybe I didn't... Re <laughs> Either they changed a little bit before it was released last time, or I just didn't catch all these. I also did notice that there's a graveyard in between the forest and the, um, the city, which may be a little bit more representative of something more, of deeper meaning. Meanwhile, thud, break in, they're upset that the, the shopkeeper didn't keep them. And now we have the Rat Man. My name is of little importance, but my information is not. The person you are looking for, I know where he is headed. The question is, what are you willing to trade for this knowledge? To be continued, summer 2014 in chapter 2, A Tightening Noose. Sounds pretty cool. Well, that's the end of this episode of Any Quest. I hope you'll check out the game for yourself. Um, I don't really know who this woman is on the title screen or what all the symbolism is, like this sun, this hand shooting out of the ground with a sun holding onto it. I know that the the goddess at the temple I went to kind of like worshipped the sun in a way, I think. Or at least I saw the symbol on inside. But I guess that's it for now. I hope you'll check out the game and um, the Grey Rainbow. And you can visit their site through the description below. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe. And thanks for watching, everyone.